I'm Dr. Linda Gromko, and this is Transgender Medicine Made Simple. Today, we're looking at a question of the week, and that is, what can I do if I can't afford to buy a chest binder? Now, there's no question about it. Transitioning is quite expensive. Not transitioning is expensive also, but that's another matter. So a young patient of mine asked what they could do because they couldn't possibly afford a binder. The family was not involved, and they just didn't have much money to work with. So let's take a look at this. You can try to conceal your chest with clothing, as I've shown in these illustrations. Let me enlarge this. So what a lot of people do is they'll start with a layer like a tank top or maybe a t-shirt, and then over that they'll put a fairly bulky, maybe a flannel shirt or a hoodie, but something that can be quite um, concealing. The problem is that these are very hot to wear in warm weather, and they're certainly constrictive enough that it's hard to do very active um, activities with them on. If your dysphoria allows, many people will use a sports bra. And of course, these can be quite snug and constrictive, but you have to be able to breathe. And I've often heard of people who've even doubled up by using two sports bras or, or what have you. Don't do that. It's dangerous and it's too constrictive for you. Start by shopping on the internet and talking to your friends. You know, if you look up FTM binders on the internet, you're going to find a large price range and they can start at about 20 bucks and go up to well over a hundred dollars. So see what you can find. If you enter chest binders at Target, for example, you will find Tomboy X brand, but they'll come after the office supplies, that is to say binders. Amazon.com has many styles and prices, and you can also search on Facebook because you'll find some, some organizations that may be able to help you. There are programs that try to meet the need for free binders. And I came across one called the Point of Pride. So if you look at pointofpride.org, you will find that this organization partners with GC2B, which is a binder manufacturing company. And Point of Pride offers free binders for any trans person who needs one and cannot afford one or safely obtain one. Point of Pride has some really interesting um, services available. They have scholarship-like programs for people who need funding for, for surgeries themselves. They have an electrolysis and laser hair removal fund. They have femme underwear and shapewear for folks who are trying to feminize. So by all means, check their site and look for specifics. I found a site called shapeshifters.com. Shapeshifters makes binders. They're sort of a non-binary appearing binder, but they're very nice. Um, you can, through their organization, find a sewing kit where you can actually make your own binder out of their specialized um, materials. And it's, it's a way to save money. I thought it was pretty clever. Now, check resources in your area. Enter where to get a free binder in your town. So there's a Coastal Bend Pride Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. They also have a clothing closet for gently used clothing. There's a gender bands program in Utah. Gender bands has periodic binder giveaways and scholarship programs for funding surgeries after you have your own top surgery, it's important that you donate your gently used binders. Use Point of Pride's donation tool. Um, it's so nice because they have a way that you can send in your binders, but also you can include a card, like something that just offers encouragement to the person who's going to receive that. Can you imagine how nice that would be? So go on to pointofpride.org slash donate a binder. And Trans Guy Supply also has a binder donation program. And they even have a free packer giveaway every month for people who are under 23 years of age. I'm sorry about my voice. Do you know of any other places that offer free binders to trans people or places that will accept binder donations? If you do, please share the information in my comment section below and I'll pass the information on to other people. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If this was useful to you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later.